Hello, my name is Harold, this is Tech on Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft on Windows 11. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser. Uh, you can use Microsoft Edge or you can use uh, Google Chrome. I'm going to use uh, Google Chrome for this. And I'm actually not going to type in what you think I would. Uh, to be honest, I already actually did the uh, install on this. And the way that this is supposed to install is such a disaster and just does not work. It just, it was so bad. I had to create an alternate way to install this. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. Uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to call, I'm going to type in Minecraft alternate download. I'm sorry, Microsoft, Microsoft alternate downloads and then press enter. And instead of going for what would have been the original download link and stuff like that. We're actually going to go to this micro or Minecraft alternative downloads link. So I'm going to left click on that. And what this is going to do is bring up a list of different Minecraft uh, versions that you can install. The one that's a disaster to install is this first one, which is the Windows 10, Windows 11 edition installer. And it's a disaster. I'll go ahead and I'll pop up some of the errors and the problems I ran into. But your best bet is actually just to bypass all of that and just download the uh, alternative installed edition, which is still exactly like the original, but it bypasses the dependency on the Microsoft Store, which is where I ran into a lot of problems. Uh, now you can do the Microsoft.msi for Windows 7, Windows 8 recommended, or you can do the Windows 7, Windows 8 alternative Minecraft.exe. It doesn't matter. I, I These two work perfectly fine. Just don't do the Windows 10, Windows 11 recommended one, which is the same one you'd find if you just went to the primary download link and did the search. So we're going to do this one right here. Uh, the Microsoft.msi one here should be fine. If you have any problems with it, then go ahead and do the uh, alternative 78 minecraft.exe one but uh, this one should work just fine and these two are virtually identical so it should be fine. I'm going to left click on that and it'll start the download. I'll go ahead and click on that here which is going to open the download. Additionally if uh, by any chance you don't see where it downloaded it uh, should automatically drop it here in the downloads folder. So if you can click on the uh, the folder icon here and then go to your downloads folder it just drops it right in here close that all right it's brought up the launcher setup which is a good sign go ahead and click next i'm going to leave it install in its default location and i'm going to tell it to install we'll go ahead and click yes to allow and then we'll go ahead and click finish here to bring up the launcher now Originally, what is supposed to happen is, is you're supposed to download the Microsoft download or the Minecraft, so I keep mixing that up, the Minecraft installer. In fact, if I go Minecraft and then download, it'll bring me to this one. Yeah, this one. And this one is completely dependent on the Windows Store. And if you have that set up right where your account is linked where your Microsoft account is linked with your Minecraft account and vice versa, and you don't have it running, and if you don't have that store and Microsoft account running on multiple computers, this will work fine. You can go into the store, you can install Minecraft and run it right off the bat. But since a lot of us have uh, Java edition converted accounts and stuff like that, uh, this is just a disaster. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump back over here and uh, yeah, we'll go to the uh, Minecraft alternate link. You can see the uh, link over there on the top of the screen. And as I said, get this alternate installer and this will work like that last one. It's really, really bad. All right, we're going to give this some time to download and install. I will check back with you in just a second once the screen changes. Just about done. 
All right, it's going to bring up the official Minecraft launcher here. Now, uh, at this point, you can actually go ahead and click play, but this isn't exactly what you're going to see on your screen right now. You're actually going to see a screen pop up that's going to have you log in with your uh, with your Mojang slash Microsoft username and account password. Uh, on my account, I was transitioned over from the Mojang account over to the Microsoft account. So, and also I had uninstalled it from here and reinstalled it on here. So uh, I didn't have to do that, but you will get a, uh, a prompt to go ahead and log in with your account information. And you'll need to do that to be able to get into the game. I just wanted to jump back in the installation process here just a little bit. In fact, I went back just a little bit. Uh, once you first get past the part where it's done downloading on the box where you saw it was downloading the information for the uh, launcher, once the launcher actually launches, it's going to bring up the uh, username and uh, password login. Uh, if you have a Mojang login, you're going to use this one here. Although if you're like me and you've been transitioned over, you're going to use the Microsoft login. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, login credentials here, and I'll be back with you in one second. Now that I've got everything signed in, it's relaunching the program there. And that's it. Uh, you may have some updating and stuff like that that occurs before this launches. As I said, it was back, and I backtracked so I could log in and stuff like that or show you the other login method, but that's it. I once again got to say that the normal way of installing Minecraft is a disaster. It just it did not work for me. I could troubleshoot it and I could make it work because I kind of understand what it's trying to do. But I will just, for anybody else, just bypass it. Uh, go to download alternatives. Don't do this first one. Go to the uh, second and third one here for 7 and 8 recommended and alternative. And then that's it. That'll get you going. I hope this helps a lot of people. I didn't realize how many people out there were having problems until I looked a little bit. And then, of course, I had problems installing it myself. So I hope this will help a bunch of you. And uh, that's it. Have a great rest of the day.